Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to enable rate limiting with Istio. Note that Istio doesn't have a dedicated CRD for the rate limiter. However, since Istio uses Envoy and Envoy has that, we can use the Envoy filter resource to configure it. Note that configuring rate limiting on the workloads inside the cluster is more or less the same as configuring them at the edge with ingress and egress gateways. But first, let's explain what is rate limiting. Rate limiting is a mechanism that allows you to limit the number of requests that are sent to a service or a workload. It specifies the maximum number of requests a client can send to a service in a given period. It is expressed as a number of requests in a period of time, for example, 100 requests per minute or 5 requests per second and so on. The purpose of rate limiting is to prevent a service from being overloaded with requests either from the same client IP or globally from any client. If we take an example of 100 requests per minute and we send a 101 request to a service, the rate limiter will reject the 101st request. The rate limiter would typically return a 429 HTTP status code, too many requests, and reject the request before it reaches the service. When Envoy Proxy, there are two ways that we can implement rate limiting. We can use a global or distributed rate limiter or a local rate limiter. Global rate limiter allows us to rate the requests across multiple services, or since we're talking about Istio, across the entire mesh. The global rate limiting is implemented using a central rate limiting service that's shared by all the services in the cluster. The rate limiting service requires an external component, typically a Redis database. For example, imagine we have a database and multiple clients deployed in the cluster. We can configure a global rate limiter on the database with a limit of 100 requests per minute. Regardless of which client makes a request to the database, the rate limiter will count the number of requests and if the limit is reached, it will reject the request. On the other hand, the local rate limiting gets configured on a per Envoy process basis. So if we translate this to Istio in Kubernetes world, per Envoy process means per each pod that has an Envoy proxy injected. The local rate limiter is simpler to configure and there's no need for any additional components such as the dedicated rate limiting service and Redis for the global rate limiting. If we take the same example as before, we can configure a local rate limiter in addition to the existing global one with a limit of 50 requests per minute for specific client IPs. So if that client makes more than 50 requests, the rate limiter will reject the request even though the global rate limiter hasn't reached the limit yet. Note that if there are multiple replicas, each one of those replicas will have its own rate limiter. If you get a rate limited on one replica, you may not get rate limited on another replica. When using both rate limiters, the local rate limit is applied first, and if the limit is not reached, the global rate limiter is applied. So how does the local rate limiter work? Envoy implements local rate limiting using a token bucket algorithm. The token bucket algorithm is a way to limit the number of requests that are sent to the service and is based on a concept of a bucket that contains a certain number of tokens. The bucket keeps getting filled with tokens at a constant rate and when a request is sent to the service, a token is removed from the bucket. If the bucket is empty, the request gets rejected. There are three things that we need to specify when configuring the rate limiter. First, it's the number of maximum tokens the bucket can hold. Second, the rate at which the tokens get refilled in the bucket. And third, the number of tokens that get added to the bucket with each fill interval. For example, let's say we have a bucket with a capacity of 1000 tokens and a fill rate of 10 seconds with 100 tokens per fill. The bucket gets filled with 100 tokens every 10 seconds up to the maximum of 1000 tokens. So if we send 1000 requests to the service, the bucket empties and the rate limiter will reject the 1000 first request. After 10 seconds, there will be 100 tokens in the bucket. If we wait long enough, let's say 100 seconds, the bucket will refill again. 
By default, Envoy will send an HTTP 429 response when the rate limiter rejects the request, and it's also going to set the X Envoy rate limited response header. However, we can configure the rate limiter to return a custom HTTP status code and configure additional response headers. We'll start up with a local Kubernetes cluster, and I'm going to be using STL 1.8 and I'll install it using the demo profile, which includes the control plane, STOD, uh, ingress, and the egress gateway. So once STO is installed on our cluster, uh, we can just double check the version again, just to make sure that everything looks good. It's version 118. Um, and then the next thing that we'll have to do is we have to label the namespace for STO injection. So we'll do Kubernetes label NS default STO injection equals enabled. Labeling the namespace with this label tells Istio to automatically inject the sidecar into any new deployments. So next thing we'll do, we'll deploy HTTP bin because that's what we'll use for our uh, workload. And once this is deployed and ready, we'll look at the uh, li rate limiter configuration. All right, so let's look at this uh, local rate limiter configuration. So typically, Envoy config, Envoy proxy config is very verbose. However, this piece of configuration is fairly straightforward. So uh, we're configuring the rate limiter to have a bucket with capacity of 50 tokens. That's specified by the max tokens field. And a fill rate of 10 tokens, that's tokens per fill, uh, every two minutes. That's the fill interval. We're also enabling the rate limiter with the filter enabled field for 100% of the requests and enforcing it for 100% of the requests as well. We're also setting the stat prefix, which is used to generate metrics. And the enable X rate limit headers option is used to enable the sending of the response header that shows that the, uh, uh, we were rate limited and the rate limit status. Now, by default, the headers are disabled. So let's look at the Envoy filter configuration and see how we could uh, use it to configure this rate limiter for our workload. So there are three key sections of the Envoy filter. The first one is the workload selector. And as the name suggests, a uh, workload selector is used to select the workload to which the Envoy filter should be applied. And in our case, we're going to apply it to the HTTP uh, bin workload. The next section are the apply to and the match section. So the apply to section tells Istio where we want to apply the patch to within the configuration. So we're using the HTTP filter value and specifying the sidecar inbound context, meaning that we want to apply the configuration changes for the inbound request to the sidecar. And we're specifying a match on a specific filter, the HTTP connection manager. Now these lines will select the HTTP filter section in the Envoy configuration and allow us to either apply a patch to an existing filter or insert a new one, new one or a delete one. Now the patch section is where we actually specify the configuration changes. So we're using the insert before operation to insert the rate limiter filter at the top of the HTTP filter list. So let's apply this filter now to the cluster. And then we can use the config dump endpoint on the Envoy proxy that's running inside the same uh, pod as HTTP bin uh, workload to get the Envoy config. We can look through the uh, Envoy config for the HTTP bin workload and the HTTP local rate limiter filter. And we'll see that it's the same configuration that we specified inside the Envoy filter resource. So let's test the rate limiter. I'll be using a, uh, I'll create a pod inside the cluster called curl. And from that pod, I'll be just sending the request to the HTTP bin service. And I'll send a bunch of requests uh, to the service and we'll see the responses are gonna, we're gonna get back the responses. And then at some point, we're gonna get back the local rate limited response, which is basically telling us that our requests have been rate limited. I've also mentioned headers that uh, uh, get sent as response headers from the request by the Envoy proxy. So if we send another request with the verbose flag, you'll notice the X rate limit limit uh, header, the remaining and the reset headers that were set by the Envoy proxy. So these were all added by the rate limiter filter and they basically show us the original limit, the remaining tokens and the time until the next refill uh, reset basically. So if we wait for another two minutes, uh, uh, for the uh, 
uh, the tokens to be refilled, for the bucket to be refilled, then we would be able to send more requests again. Now, the next thing that we could do is we could also configure a uh, our own response header and then add a different HTTP code and then remove the X dash uh, raid limit headers that were set by default. So let's do that. So the only thing that we've changed is this section at the bottom, the response headers to add, where we specify an append action and we're calling it append if exists or add, meaning append the header if the header exists or add the header if the header is not there yet. And then we're specifying the header name, the X dash rate dash limited and a value, which is too many requests. Note that we're using an enum here because that's what Envoy expects. So with this being the only change, we can apply the new rate limit YAML file and then go back to the uh, to the curl pod and then start sending the requests again to trigger the uh, rate limiter. So once the rate limiter is triggered, we'll see the local rate limited message again. And then if we uh, send a single request, this time you'll see that we got too many requests back and the response is um, 400. So we got back HTTP 400 and the header is, has the value of too many requests. Now the rate limiter filter in Envoy also automatically generates a couple of different metrics that we can look at. Now, in order for us to see these metrics in Prometheus, what we need to do is we need to explicitly enable them. And we to do that, we can annotate the HTTP bin deployment, the pod spec template, uh, to basically tell Istio to enable the collection for the HTTP local rate limit statistics from uh, Envoy. So the way we do that is we're just gonna use kubectl patch. Uh, to do that. And then once the deployment is patched, the pods will automatically restart. And then if we send a couple of requests to HTTP bin service, we'll get a list of all the different uh, metrics that are emitted from the Envoy sidecar. So the metrics are the uh, uh, enabled, which is telling us the number of requests for which the rate limiter was consulted. Uh, the OK uh, metric that tells us the number of under limiter responses from the token bucket the limited, the rate limited uh, metric, which is telling us the total number of responses without a token, but not necessarily enforced. And then the enforced metric, which is telling us the number of rate limited responses. So that's when the uh, four, uh, 429 HTTP status code was returned. Now in this video, we briefly explained how the Envoy uh, rate limiter filter works and how to configure it for workloads running inside Istio Mesh using the Envoy filter resource. Now in one of the future videos, I'll explain how to configure rate limiter for ingress and egress gateways as well.